how's everybody doing today? Brock USA with you guys here. Um, it's Sunday. Not really doing anything fancy today, but I was just <clears throat> scrolling around on my on my phone on my Facebook, and I came across a bunch of stuff about uh, Colin Kaepernick. I'm sure you guys have already heard, but if you haven't, during a preseason game on Friday. He did not stand for the national anthem, <clears throat> and we're just going to go over about. I'm just going to go over about my opinion, <clears throat> my opinion, excuse me, on the subject, and how I feel about it. So, I, after I heard about that, I didn't want to believe it at first. I just went through, started doing my uh, little of my research. I wasn't really going to pick sides at first, but I think I've picked my side now. He did not stand for the National Anthem when it was played, and his response to that was, I am not going to stand up to show pride in a flag for a country that oppresses black people and people of color. <clears throat> to me, this is bigger than football, and it would be selfish on my part to look the other way to look the other way, there are bodies in the street and people are getting paid leave and getting away with murder. <clears throat> that of all the response to him not standing up was, players are encouraged but not required to stand during the national anthem. I think that he could have, if he wanted to make a difference for <clears throat> the Black Lives Matter movement or whatever he was trying to make a difference for, I think he could have done it in a different way because he is a very big <clears throat> public icon. He's a 49ers quarterback. And like the video I, was ma I made two or three videos ago, I was talking about reputation. Well, he has a lot of effect on little kids and, like, <clears throat> the country itself. And I think that he could definitely... I think that he could definitely persuade people the wrong way, and people will just blindly follow him because he makes $20 million a year or yeah, 20, he's like a hundred nineteen million dollar contract, and he makes like twenty million dollars a year. <clears throat> so he definitely has a big, a a big audience, I guess you could say, or persuasion against whatever way he goes with it. So I think he could have could have went a different route with that. And then I did some more research um, because he thinks that our country oppresses black people or minorities so <clears throat> going off the Black Lives Matter thing I looked up some statistics and <clears throat> based on 2012 numbers it would take 40 years of African American people getting killed by police to equal the total number of blacks killing blacks in a single year <clears throat> less than 400 people are killed a year by cops you have a better chance to get struck by lightning. And out of those 400 people, 400 people, or less than 40 people that are killed a year, 61% of them are white, and 32% of them are black. So, I think that <clears throat> he was just kind of off the door handle on this one, you know. He didn't obviously do his research, or he just believes he is standing up for something else, or I don't really know why, but <clears throat> I know when, I'm not just saying this because I'm a Marine or whatever, but because <clears throat> it goes for other things like police officers, firefighters, uh, all the other armed forces and branches, a lot of people are very patriotic to this flag, like I am myself, <clears throat> I have it tattooed on my chest, I'm in the Marine Corps trying to make a difference. Um, <clears throat> but a lot of people have died for that flag um, <clears throat> and or made uh, sacrifices for that flag 
uh, families of fallen soldiers and uh, police officers, firefighters, have all made sacrifices for that flag. I think the best he could do is at least stand up <clears throat> when the national anthem is played, no matter what his opinion is. I know that's his right to sit down, but <clears throat> I don't think it was very appropriate. Uh, he, he knows it's televised nationally. Um, <clears throat> he knew people were going to make a big deal out of it, but I think he was wrong. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> I know when I went down to the recruiting office in 2014 to enlist into the United States Marine Corps, I didn't, I did not sign the contract for four years of, of active duty, just because our country has some wrong things with it, or some things that are wrong with it. Sorry, I messed it up. <clears throat> I did not sign that contract because <clears throat> there's uh, bad stuff going on in our country. I signed that contract because I do love America, and uh, despite its <clears throat> his little bumps and bruises along our history, I think that it's still a great country, and no matter what, I would stand for it, <clears throat> or the national anthem. So I think uh, he should he should uh, rethink his his actions that he's done. Um, it definitely will hurt his reputation as a pro athlete or as a, a person. Um, if he wanted to make a difference, he, I mean, I'm not telling him what to do or whatever, but he makes $20 million a year. If he wanted to make a difference, he could probably use some of that money to help his cause or whatnot, but that's just me. That's my opinion that I'm entitled to. That's why I'm sharing with you guys today. Thanks for watching Brock USA. Stay tuned this week and this coming weekend for some more good videos. I'll be uploading. I'll keep you guys updated on my Facebook and on my Instagram. Facebook, just type in Nathan Welling, N-A-T-H-A-N-W-E-L-L-I-N-G. And for my Instagram, it is N-A-T-H-A-N underscore Brock28. I'll leave it down in the description below. Thanks for watching Brock US today, and I will see you all later.